Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the term Abbey Theatre. Establishment of the Abbey Theatre The Abbey Theatre, the most famous Irish theatre and a prominent institution in the British Isles and Europe, was founded in 1899 by W. B. Yeats and Lady Gregory. It was established as the centre of the Irish dramatic movement, which aimed to showcase Irish plays dealing with Irish subjects performed by Irish actors. The theatre was created by converting the old Mechanics' Institute Theatre on Abbey Street and the adjacent city morgue. This project was financially supported by Annie Horniman, a key figure in the development of the Manchester School. Early Years and Foundational Plays the theatre opened its doors in 1904 and quickly became a venue for almost all notable Irish dramatists. In addition to Annie Horniman, the Abbey was driven by passion and dedication of W. B. Yeats, J. M. Singe, Lady Gregory and Fay Brothers. Early productions included On Bailey's Strand and Kathleen in Holy Hen by Yeats and spreading the news by Lady Gregory. A significant event in its early history was the staging of Singe's The Playboy of the Western World in 1907, which ignited riots due to its perceived challenge to Irish morality. Challenges and Changes in Leadership Following the death of Singe in 1909 and the withdrawal of Horniman's financial backing, the theatre faced challenges that led to Yates' resignation after a dispute with Lady Gregory, who continued her involvement until her retirement in 1928. During this period, the theatre showcased the works of prominent playwrights like Padre Colum, St. John Greer Irwin, and Lennox Robinson, the latter of whom managed the Abbey from 1910 to 1923 and later became its director. Financial struggles and government support Post-World War I, the Abbey experienced further financial difficulties which were somewhat alleviated by successful plays by Sino CZ including Shadow of a Gunman, Uno and the Peacock and the Plough and the Stars. In 1924, the Abbey received a government grant making it the first state-subsidized theatre in the English-speaking world. However, the rejection of Ossese's The Silver Tassie in 1928 led to his departure for England. Later Years and Revival Efforts After Ossese's departure, the theatre continued to produce notable plays, particularly those by George Shields and emphasized Gaelic plays. Tragedy struck in 1951 when the theatre was destroyed by fire, but it was rebuilt and reopened in 1966, continuing its tradition of being a cultural beacon in Ireland. So this was the discussion on the term Abbey Theatre. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs later to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC NET for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us.